Ho, ho, ho! Comic book loving sons of bitches and wonder women that might be watching. Welcome to this week's comic book haul. The haul was purchased on December 22nd, 2017. This is the haul before Christmas. And as I said before, as my sister actually says, when you're a comic book collector, Christmas happens every week. And yeah, we definitely got a lovely Christmas, or I guess I should say early Christmas haul. It was a pretty damn good week, guys. Ho, ho, ho. So, we have a lot of comic books to get to. We're going to just jump right into it, and then I will say something after the haul. So, let's get started. Big shout out to, uh, of course, the Comic Haven and Undercity Comics, both in Woodyo, California. If you're ever in the area, I recommend you go hit them places up. They're very friendly there. They're very nice. It's a lot of fun. This is a really fat stack, so I actually have to put one side of it over there, and I'll get to this one right here. And I still have the... <coughs> The Undercity Hall, which of course is smaller due to the fact that over at Comic Haven, JC has been pulling pretty much everything that we asked for and then some. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is the hall before Christmas. Uh, and I will say something after, I will say something Christmassy after I show you this stuff. So uh, let's get to this. And also, I do pick up a couple. Or oh, I should say, my sister and I did pick up a couple of uh, Funko Pops. Um, you know what? Damn it! I wanted to bring my sister on here to say hi. She's sick, so I don't want her coughing all over me. Damn! It just hit me. I I was hoping to bring her on for the Christmas one, huh? But she, like I said, she is sick. She's watching the Santa Claus part three, which is not a very good one. So we're just gonna have to go at it alone again. So one day I'm gonna get her on here. One day. Um but I hope everybody's awesome. I hope everybody's doing a great having a great holiday season. Let's get to this and then we'll talk more. So let's go ahead and start out with number thirty seven of Green Lanterns. This I believe is the variant. I don't I have, oh, here, here it is. Uh, no. Yes, okay. This is the variant, and this is the standard cover A. Uh, I actually do like both. I, it took me a few minutes to, to look at this one. Well, not a few minutes, but like a few seconds really to look at this one to say if I really wanted it, because it is really simplistic and, uh, I mean, this is a really good cover here. I think this is cool. But I looked at this, and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm dropping, I'm dropping comics. Uh, <laughs> Jessica looks good on this cover. She looks really powerful. And uh, I, I really dig the whole, you know, blast cosmic thing going on here. So, you know what? I have to have it. So, cover A, cover B. I did them both. We have number 16 of Injustice 2. That is a badass cover. There's a lot of stuff going on. Holy shit, it's all out war. That is a great cover. We have, I hope this is cover A. No, it's a variant. It's a cool variant, but I didn't get, this is the only version I got, the only copy I got, so that means I did not get cover uh, A, but anyway, we have number 33 of Harley Quinn. Damn it. I'm going to have to look that up, uh, see if I can get cover A. I gotta see what it looks like, but usually every, every cover A Harley Quinn looks great, so, oh shit, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little ball. Little ball. It's so weird. Hope. Mm. 
So, <laughs> unless, unless that, um, that Shrek special, you'll see it with uh, Christian Boots. <laughs> he gets a distracted by his little snowball. Anyway, so this is from last week, but as I said, they, uh, as I said last week, the copy they had was kind of damaged, so they got us a new one. We have 933 Action Comics. Uh, actually, is this the, uh, this is the variant? And, uh, me personally, I wouldn't have even bothered. I would have just said, that's cool, you know. But my sister and her variants, she has to have them. We have Bombshells, number 8. Bombshells United, number 8. That's pretty cool. Hmm, black one. Awesome. Oh, uh, black girl. Uh, we have... <laughs> I find this really awesome, actually. Uh, we have Superman number 37. And the variant... The variant has freaking Batman. So, obviously, I like the Batman one. We have number 33, uh, excuse me, number 35 of Justice League, and a very, very cool color B, which is freaking dope. That is great. We have number 37 of Batman. Pretty tight, right? Batman, Catwoman, staring into Superman and Lois. And a very cool and rather sexy cover B. Awesome. Number 10 of Batwoman. Woo, spooky. And a really cool variant. Now, I thought about maybe not getting the variant, but I was like, no, I think this is really cool, so I got the variant. Uh, so we have number three, of Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan. We have number 159 of Venom, but it's part three of Venom, Inc. These Venom covers have been on point. We have the Mighty Thor number 702. Cool. Gotta catch up with that. Gotta catch up with everything. Duh. We have number 149 of Guardians of the Galaxy, which I think there's two more, top, two more issues, if I'm not sure. Two more. And then this one is done. Um. I'm a little sad about that, but a little relieved as well. Unless, of course, they come up with something great afterwards that I'm going to end up collecting. We have number 8 of The Defenders. Very cool cover. With uh, King Kong, Black Cat, and... Uh, I must be tricky. Right? Who's, who's that? Freaking, is that... Ah, um... uh, shit, what's his name? I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I'm an idiot. We have number 290 of Deadpool. The, the, uh, what? The, the Despicable Deadpool. This came out last week, but they did not get it until this week. So here it is. Very happy about that. We have number... Which one is the variant? Alright, so we have number 11 of Super Sons. And, of course, pretty cool variant, I would say. Ah, come on. Which one is the variant? Okay, so this is, okay. Uh, number four of Wonder Woman Conan. I like this cover, actually. And the variant is also very cool. So, yeah. These artists know what they're doing. Oh, nice. This is going to be awesome. Ringing in the new year with that shot. All right. Number 16 of Trinity. Very great cover with that, that shot on there. And the variant is not too shabby neither. I 
I don't know why, but I really, really like this cover. Bunch of ninja stars and old man Logan just looking awesome. So we have number 32 of old man Logan. I don't know why, when I, when I saw this cover, I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. Number 18 of x Men Gold, Nightcrawler, yay! And let's go ahead and hold off on... No, we can... We can... Right, I'm actually done with this pile, so yeah, I can show it all. Uh, cover A, cover B, okay. So we have cover A, number 2, Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Soak it all up, man. Look at that greatness right there. Oh, And we do have... The Variant. And lastly, from the Comic Haven, you know what it is. You have to know what it is. We have Metal Number 4. Oh, yeah. Now, I shouldn't even be cheering because I have not been reading this. I, I don't been reading anything. I suck. But uh, here it is, cover A. Uh, which one is which? Here is... Cover B. Pretty dope. Cover C. And cover D. Big ups and big thanks to the Comic Haven for pulling every one of these. That is so freaking awesome of them. I'm telling you guys, if you want to get into comic book collecting and you're within the Whittier, California area, go go see JC at the Comic Haven. I do not work for him. I'm not paid to shout them out. I just love seeing that store succeed. It's, as, it, as it's called the Comic Haven, it is my Comic Haven. Now, obviously, I love Undercity, and we're going to show you what we got from Undercity, but JC just goes above and beyond. So, usually, we, uh, in case I haven't said this enough, we get most of our comics at, under, at uh, the Comic Haven, we go to the city to get variants, indies, and usually a lot of collectibles, which we did get Funko Pops, but I'm going to save that for a separate video. Alright, uh, so we got uh, from Undercity, as you can see, not, not a big haul, not a big one, but still, still lovely, still happy. Um, let's go ahead and start out with my sister's indies. We have number... Four, number four, five, uh, Joe Gollum, Occult Detective. I don't know. This is pretty cool. Uh, I heard, <coughs> I heard about this during the week, but I kind of forgot about it, so I'm kind of cool, I'm kind of glad my sister, uh, picked it up. This is, uh, from what I understand, kind of a reinvention, a revival, sort of. Uh, from IDW, we had number one of 30 Days of Night. Very cool. And we also got a variant of 30 Days of Night. Sweet! Actually looking forward to that. I'm going to have to definitely check that out. We had number 12 of Angel. And it's variant. These variants are always freaking great. I... I don't know think about Buffy or Angel, but their variants are freaking dope. It is the variant, right? Okay, whatever. From DC, we have 35 of Nightwing. No variant for this one, but that's okay. And lastly, lastly... A second. Yeah. Lastly, we have number 22 of Poe Dameron and one of the 40th anniversary variants, number 47, in fact. And now, lastly, 
uh, what is probably my favorite co- cover of the week. I, I just, I'm mesmerized by this cover. I love it. And it is number 15 of Star Wars Dr. Aphra. And I just love it. It's so cool. Dr. Aphra, actually. I, I, think I, I think I heard somebody pronounce it Aphra. Whatever. Super freaking cool. I love it. And, of course, we got the variant, the last variant uh, in the 40th anniversary uh, Star Wars. I said that wrong. The... Did I say it? Uh, The 40th anniversary variant. It's the last one, and what a fitting way to end it. That is so cool. So this is number 48 of 48. That's it. Finito. I'm very happy about that. Also, I just want to address something real quick. Uh, I, I was going to make a video about this topic, and I might still do it. But just quickly, I know I have not done a Star Wars Last Jedi review. I know. I apologize. I've been busy. Been kind of lacking energy in doing that sort of thing. Uh, but I will say my neglect of doing a review on that has nothing to do with the movie itself. Okay? Personally, I liked it a lot. So it's not about the movie. It's just I've been streaming and doing Christmas stuff. And to be quite honest, the reception that it's gotten has been so annoying that it kind of drained me of energy. So that's kind of why I haven't done a video on it. But I, I might do a video elaborating on that situation, or I might finally just say screw it and do my own review. Which will probably contain spoilers since most people have already seen it, I'm sure. And of course you have the option of seeing it or not. Okay, so, that is it for the comic book haul. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you, but before I go, I, of course, want to wish every single one of you who, you know, is okay with it, a very Merry Christmas from the bottom of my comic book, The Little Loving Heart. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or if you don't believe in any of that shit, have a Freaking awesome Monday on the 25th, okay? I love Christmas. This season has is just going way too fast. I haven't even really been able to enjoy it because it's just been speeding along. But I will say that I'm very grateful for all the new subs, all the people that have come in just because of one stupidly action video. I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate some of the great comments that I've gotten, very encouraging comments, and even the 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 despicable comments. I like them. I don't care. Bring it on. But I do want to wish everybody just Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy 25th of December. Uh... I will be making videos before New Year, so I don't have to come out with that yet. But, um, yeah, I, I'm very, very uh, excited for this Christmas because I feel that... I feel that despite the struggles that my family and I have gone through this year, this Christmas will be the one day we can just completely completely forget about that stuff. We come together, open up our gifts, uh, embrace, embrace our materialistic needs. <laughs> I'm being honest. But we also appreciate what we do as a family. Uh, and of course, we go see our extended family. We open up more gifts, which we call, us Hispanics call, tamales. <laughs> um, and... And that, you know, I, I'm looking forward to it. I want that one day to go perfectly without arguing or worrying about bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really hope that if you're having a bad year, if you're having a bad December or whatever, I hope that on Christmas Day, again, even if you're not, if you don't celebrate it, I mean, I, I don't celebrate it for re- religious reasons. I celebrate it through the family, uh, but if, you know, whatever it is, I really hope 
that on the 25th, whoever you are, you have the bestest day you can. Alright? So, thank you very much, guys. Uh, like I say, or kind of like I say, never let anybody tell you to old collect comic books because if they do, they are Grinches. They are stinky, dirty Grinches who are going to get eaten by Krampus. I don't know, Krampus doesn't eat nobody, does I don't know. Uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me here on Twitch, on Twitter, and uh, I will be sticking around because of it. So thank you very much. Peace out, and uh, ho, 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 ho.